Welcome to tonight's Five on Five. The guests are Mike Porter and Christopher Briscoe, here to talk about Project Day Shoot 30, both professionals in videography and photography. But this is really a day, uh, Christopher, all about just uh, Oregonians capturing uh, what's going on in the world. Tell us a little about Project Day Shoot 30. Well, it came out of about 30 years ago. There was a great tabletop series called Dan Life, and it was Dan Life of Australia, Dan Life of America, et cetera. And this came out of that project some 30 days ago. And now, um, a fella uh, was going through an old bookstore in Portland, and he saw this book, One Average Day, and he says, I've got an idea. Let's recreate it. It's recreated, and now it's available to Oregonians all over the state to be a part of this great project. And it's coming up this Monday. Uh, Mike, tell us a little about why you got involved in, in taking some of these uh, amazing both video and pho photographs. Well, I, I got involved with, uh, you know, just I received an email from the organization just saying, hey, you know, here's what we're doing. It was done 30 years ago. Uh, we'd like you to be a part of it. And... And I jumped in. And you jumped in, and you're going to go around, maybe use some family members and some friends to kind of capture what their day is like. I am. I'm going to. I'm. You know. I'm going to. I'm going to hit up my family. I'm going to uh, hit up friends. You know. I've. I've got uh, a wide variety of friends. You know. From. Uh, from ER doctors down to sewage pumpers. I'm going to. You know. <laughs> do a day in the life of them. I'm going to. Uh, you know. Just go around and get some candid shots. Just kind of be involved with what's going on in the day. And Christopher, you do this on a daily basis. I'm sure you've captured uh, hundreds of thousands of images of Oregon and Oregonians kind of in their element. But what about you? This gets ex uh, about this for you is exciting and taking on this uh, this project this day. Well, 30 years ago, we were all shooting with film, and you had 36 pictures on a roll, and you just couldn't push the button down and go, <laughs> "Got it there somewhere." But now. You know, the best camera that you can get is, is really the one in your pocket. And everybody's got a cell phone, and most of the cell phones have digital uh, capturing capabilities, not only with, with video, but with great stills. And so now everybody in Oregon has the capability of part uh, participating in this project and being their own uh, photojournalist. They kind of get that uh, sensation for a day. I'll a few more questions for you, gentlemen, so stick around. More 5 on 5 right after the break. Welcome back to the Five on Five. The guests here, we're talking about Project Day Shoot 30. We have Mike Porter and Christopher Briscoe, both professionals, videographer and photography. We've been talking about this day, but uh, really started by one man and, and how he kind of uh, had this vision for it. Well, apparently Brian Burke in Portland was going through Powell's bookstore and he came upon this um, project that was done 30 years ago. And my phone rang and he introduced himself and it sounded like a wonderful project, so I signed on. And tell us a little about the website, because you mentioned people can get involved, in it, but how can they? Well, the website is uh, Oregon, uh, I'm sorry, dayshoot30.org. And uh, you can go there and you can see the pictures. You can uh, upload pictures there. There'll be a whole packet there of, with instructions. It's important that everyone fill out some caption information, kind of the who, what, where, when, and why part of it, and also uh, the time the picture was taken. And hopefully there'll be a great book that comes out of this. And... Uh, it gives an opportunity for a lot of people to be a part of history. Mike, I'm sure you've taken a lot of video over the years in photography, but are you looking forward to capturing something that maybe five, ten years, or even thirty years from now can really just mean something and show the, the how time has changed? I am looking forward to that, yeah. A day in the life thirty years later. Have, is there any photograph that comes to mind from way back when that maybe kind of goes, oh, that's interesting, I remember that one. Have you, have you looked at any lately that uh, might... Ring a bell? No. no. Now, you're looking forward to taking one now, this Monday, yes, that yes. Uh, maybe someone else will look at down the line. How about you? Is there? Uh, you've taken so many, but something that really well, the hits person, home. the most personal part of what I do is documenting my son Quincy's life of 19 years. He's probably the most photographed kid on the planet. But <laughs> the other day, I was looking through these these pictures that I took of him when he was five and a half years old, learning how to ride a bicycle in Ashland. And this grin is on his face. He's got the, all the pads on and the, the gloves and everything. And he's riding a bicycle without training wheels for the first time. And then yesterday I took a picture of him some 15 years later. And he's on the middle of a bicycle trip from Alaska to Tijuana, Mexico. 
and he has the same grin on his face. <laughs> and if you want more about that story, you can go to our website. We covered that uh, last week. What an amazing trip that is. But it also shows you, as you mentioned, what these photographs, how they can document time, people. And in Monday, it's everyone's chance to really show that for their family, for their communities, what it's like uh, here in Oregon. So it's an exciting time. Best of luck to both of you gentlemen. Take some great photographs, as I know you will, and we're looking forward to seeing them. Great. Thanks for having me on. All right. That's it for the 5 on 5. More news right after the break.